guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna do something quick. Oh, quick for me is probably like 25 minutes. Are we starting already? Hmm. All right, I am proclaiming this summer to be, is that the word that I want? Proclaiming this summer to be the year of the bright lip. Oh wait, where is it? Oh, here it is. So I bought this. Um, I just got it in the mail today and it is, it is so beautiful. This is the Chanel Jumbo Longwear Matte Lip Crayon in Provocation. Look at that freaking, oh, bitch. oh I just nicked it. Every day. I just don't want to wear a nude lip every day because it's just boring after a while. I mean, listen, I am a nude lip whore. <laughs> but a bright lip is so fun and like youthful and just, I don't know, it's so fun. It's fun and I want to be fun. I'm fun. <laughs> I'm fun. So today's look is going to be very minimal but still like put together. We're going to use a powder foundation which is so out of my comfort zone. But I got one in the mail from Makeup Forever. I've been using it and surprisingly loving it. Oh, these tassels are getting everywhere in my camel. Oh, who used to double dutch? Oh my God, double dutch was my shit. And you're like, mm. oh my God, I want a double dutch right now. I'll be back, see ya. So today's look is just gonna be fun flirty a little bit um like minimal but still put together a pop of a bright lip and not much else going on just like a little glow a little boop boom bloop let's just start i'm using the same primer i used last time this one from first day beauty pores be gone you guys these are the only three primers hold on that i ever use the tatcha silk canvas the huda beauty one and this um first day beauty I really need to up my primer game. I do need to go over my face though because we are oily. These wipes, oh god you guys, they're so bad. Avino, I love you. These are awful. I've been using them for swatches and like whatever. But they're terrible. Alright. Hmm. How's everybody doing? That's gonna bother me. Oh. It's really nice out today, you guys. You know I always feel the need to tell you guys about the weather. I'm just so happy that it's warm out. Like I wake up every day and I'm like, is it winter? Like I feel like we're gonna go back to winter because I love this weather so much. Like it's too good to last, you know? All right. Mm. That was a little intense. Hair's already freaking falling out. Not of my head, just of the clip. So this is what we're using. Matte Velvet Skin from Makeup Forever. This one's Y3... This one is Y365. And this one is Y405. So... I'm going to use Y365. Because my... Well... Yeah, my tan's kind of fading. It's still kind of there, but kind of like she wants to hit the road. So I've been using this and I really like it. I use it with not like a huge powder brush. Like I wouldn't use my La Mer brush. Oh, she's so bougie. <laughs> but something a little bit smaller, like a blush brush, a bronzer brush, and just, it's so simple. It's so good, you guys. I was so skeptical. I'm like, maybe I'll just like set my face with it because I'm not a powder foundation kind of girl. Well, I would like to retract that statement. I am a powder foundation kind of girl if it's the right powder foundation. So since I'm using a powder foundation, I'm gonna do my concealer first. I'm sorry, here I am. <laughs> I was getting my concealer. 
So you want to do your liquids first, your creams first, and then do your powder foundation. So of course I'm using my Giorgio Armani Master Corrector Numero Dose. Do you see the difference? It's actually amazing. But don't use too much because it will get kind of weird. I've made that mistake. Mm. Girl, she just gave me my eight hours. I'm using the concealer that I use every day of my life, Instant Age Rewind. I'm mixing light and medium. I'm going to start with medium. And a little light on top. Little on my lid, little here, even though we're covering it with powder foundation, it's okay. And I'm actually using a beauty blender today, which I never do. Ew, I never do. This is like the easiest makeup. And I think it still looks really pretty. I like to put this like on my entire nose. Because my nose always gets red. Ooh. How's my stash? <laughs> I'm also taking my NARS Custard Soft Matte Concealer. I have like discoloration in here. I can really notice it on camera. It's my melasma, but it looks like it's getting worse. Just going in with a little bit more concealer in the light shade just to brighten everything up. I am going to do my eye primer now, my Smashbox one that I always use. So I'm still going in with my NARS Crystal Powder, even though I'm using a powder foundation oh my god air quotes <laughs> even though I'm using a powder foundation I still want to use my regular under eye powder because I don't want to put this on my under eyes first off you know my struggles with my under eyes and this is more like my skin tone color more than like my bright under eye color you know Ignore my psycho dog. Now for the fun part. The powder foundation. Again, matte velvet skin from Makeup Forever. Y365. They do give you this little um, sponge. I have not dabbled with the sponge. I'm a little... I'm a little scared. I'm always scared. It's makeup. Don't be afraid, girl. I think I'm going to use my hourglass brush today. I do really like the multitask brush from Real Techniques, but I'm going to show. I'm going to use this one. So I just dip it in a couple times. And then put it on. I'll do one side so we can see the difference. Oh, this color is so good. Like you can't mess this up. You really can't. Now the way that I'm doing this is like minimal coverage. 
<laughs> I'm joking. Hold on. <coughs> you could always um, put a liquid foundation underneath and then go in with this. Oh my gosh, you would have like so much coverage because you can really build this up. I don't know where my mind just went. It totally went away for a second. Or you could like use the little sponge and really like press it into your skin. I just like this way because it's more minimal. That's what I want. I'm going to do my brows quick, then I'll zoom you guys in. We'll do super quick eye makeup and then the funnest part ever. I really want to get to this lip. I'm so excited to put this on. Okay, so brows super quick just threw them on because we want this whole look to be like effortless you don't want it to look like you sat and applied makeup for an hour even though that's what we're doing you know i mean i can do this makeup in honestly five minutes well minus the brows um it's very simple the thing that's going to take me the longest is the lip so on my eyes i'm keeping it super simple effortless so I'm going to take my Jouer uh, Medium to Deep Duo, the bronzer duo. I love, love this on my face, on my eyes. It's amazing. I'm going to take the lighter shade with an E40 from Sigma, of course. And I'm just going to run that through my crease super quick. Just going to run that through. We just want a little something on there. And you could just do mascara. You don't even, you don't even need this. This is so good though. It's like the perfect shade. And it has almost like a satiny finish. So it's not like a flat matte. It's so pretty. The Jouer duos, the blush duos, the bronzer duos, they're amazing. And I have their newest blush duo that comes out on the 31st. Oh my god. It is so beautiful. Wait till you guys see it. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I love it. I haven't even used it, but I love it. Okay, that's good. Then I'm going in with my Dior Show Fusion Mono Shadow and Meteor. You can still find this in some spots. It is kind of hard to find, but if you ever see this for sale, buy it. It's just a light, it just gives you like a little wash of color, and that's what we want. I don't want anything like too pigmented. So good. Just a little touch. I love this. Ooh, love her. You can get the same effect with the Natasha Denona um, eye toppers. I can't see you guys when I have that mirror there. The Natasha Denona top coats, eye top coats. The peach one's amazing. The nude one is gorgeous. So you don't have to use the same thing. ColourPop uh, does their Super Shocks. There are certain ones that are a little bit more sheer, more like a topper. That's what we're going for. Well, that's what I'm going for. You can do whatever you want on your eyes. You can do a purple smoky eye if that's what brings you joy. I'm just here to give a little inspo and show you what I like. See how pretty that is? Just a little wash, a little wash. I'm taking that same shade from my Jouer Duo, just so we have a little something down here. Just like that. Whenever I do my lower lash line, I tend to like go way down here. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Oh, these lashes over here. And you know what I figured out? I think the reason these lashes always are like pointed downward and these are fine, I always, always, always lay on my left side when I sleep. 
always. And I think that I'm like laying on my lashes and that's why they're always pointed downward because they never did this before. I gotta try to stop being a maniac. Ooh, what is happening to this eyebrow? It looks awful. Excuse me. Intermission for me to fix my brow. You guys, I am hooked on this Big Ego Mascara from Tarte. <gasps> it is so, so good. Oh my goodness, I love it. I've been using it every day. I'm using my Scuba from The Balm because it's the only waterproof mascara I have. Just one little coat to kind of help these guys stand at attention and not fall to the ground in five minutes. I know I used this mascara in my last Get Ready With Me, did I? Was it the last one? I think. But I have to show you again because it's so good. It is so good. I freaking love it. Some days when I get on YouTube, I think about how different it is now than when I first started. It's so different. I feel like now it's it's just, it's not about the makeup anymore. It's about drama and I don't know, I just don't feel like it's about the makeup anymore. Like who's having fun? I'm having fun. I feel like people are having fun, but the main people in the game I don't feel like they're having fun. It, it's always like drama and fighting and they're not even fighting about makeup. You're a beauty influencer. Fight about makeup. I said to my friend yesterday, she's like, YouTube isn't what it used to be. And I'm like, I know I'm about to just freaking film a what's in my purse and everybody else can just kiss my butt. Like, I still love the Get Ready With Me's, obviously, and the empties and the what's in my purse. Like, that is original YouTube to me, and I'm not ready to give that up. I love that. These brows, and Jesus, girl. All right, I'm going to use my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is the deep bronzer. Smells so good. We're just going to bronze everything up. I feel like my face is so um, not symmetrical, unsymmetrical. Why do I feel dumb today? <laughs> so dumb. Dun, 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 dun. Are you ready? It's so beautiful. Look at that luminosity. Do you see how perfect that is? This is the Cheeky Summer Blush Duo. Terracotta Sands is the darker one, this one, and then this is Hot Coral. Mm -hmm. I got it right. Oh, this is just so beautiful. I'm going to do a mix. Do you see how beautiful that is? Mm. Oh my God, I love that. I would love this on my eyes. How pretty would that be on your eyes? Like this in the crease? 
Oh my god. Kill me now. May you burn in hell brows. I hate you. Look at this little guy. It's so cute. So we have a new highlighter palette. Where do I open it? Hyper Reflective Highlighting Palette from... Oh, sorry. Too Faced. <laughs> Isn't it cute? You can't see that? The only thing that... This would have actually been pretty on my eyes. But the only thing that worries me about this palette is this shade. Because look, when I swatch it... Do you see how it's a little powdery? And like if you go in hard... She's a little chunky. She's a little chunky. But, oh, look, you can see what I mean. Do you see? Yeah. Um, I'm afraid of that, but it might perform totally different on my face. I'm going to use that light one that I just swatched. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Don't take the Lord's name in vain. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's very pretty, but you kind of have to work at blending it out. And there's like little bits of highlighter flying through the air. Hmm. Huh. It's very pretty. I just wish the formula was a little bit like smoother. It's a little like crumbly feeling. Hmm. Huh. I'm going to go over it with hot sand, which is like one of my favorite things in the world. It's so perfect. I should have started with this. Not because I don't think this one looks pretty on, but because I wanted a more like, I wanted a more like lit from within kind of glow rather than like highlighter. Do you know what I mean? This will give you that every day. It's so good. It's so perfect. You can't really go overboard with it either. All right, time for the lip, the most exciting part. I'm so excited to put this on. So the Chanel Jumbo Longwear Matte Lip Crayon in Provocation. So pretty. All right, let's do an ass. Oh my God. My life is complete. I feel like there was a little jigsaw puzzle piece missing from my life and it was just put into place. This is actually so perfect. Like the formula feels so, so good. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to like go crazy over a very pricey like 35 ish dollar lip but <sighs> I love a bright lip in the summertime because I feel like you can you can put a bright lip on with like no makeup and if you have like a little hint of a tan like you were in the sun for a few hours and you just have that little like hint of a sunburn 
and freckles start to come out. It looks just so youthful and healthy and perfect and I actually live for it. Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for today. I am so freaking obsessed with this lip. On camera to me it looks very neon which is making my life even happier if that's even possible right now. Like this is better than my wedding day. Birth of my children? Who? Yeah, I have one child. Her name is Chanel Provocation. Durr. Okay, you guys, so that's going to do it. My battery's about to die. I wish we could stay and chat longer, but I am going to film another video as soon as I charge my battery back up. So you guys will see this makeup all over again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Will you guys do me one favor though? Let me know down below your go-to bright, super fun summer lip. I, I need to know. And if it's like a red orange, bonus points for that. Why do I have two peace signs going right now? I have no idea. But um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. This is so not sweat absorbing. What is my hair? I am pro... Proclaiming? I'm pronouncing? No. I am putting out a statement. There we go. What if I came on camera with nothing on but nipple tassels? Oh my gosh. The thought alone is so horrifying that it like makes me cringe. Ugh. Oh my god, that would be so bad. Together, fun, flirty, fresh. What other F words can I think of? <laughs> Now it's time for the powder foundation. They, okay, so now it's time, now it's time for the powder foundation they give you. All right, now we're gonna go in with the funnest part. Is funnest a word? I don't think funnest is a word. Oh, oh my gosh. Like a five-year-old playing mascara on, like they could do it better than this. Just found that piece and I put it into the puzzle and it is complete. This guy. As I pull my wipe out of the trash can to wipe the swatch off because it's my last one. For being here, as I already said, but I love you. It's all tired and sweat. Oh, and I put a belt on! Oh my god, and I put a picture up on Instagram!